This is Blaze, his cat is out of food, so he went to the fair to buy some. Wait, why is this guy selling armor at a fair? This guy's talking about a war 400 years ago. Now they're selling swords. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Come one, come all, to the tent of horrors. I'm sure nothing bad- Blaze just assaulted a woman. Something bad happened. She's still alive, but dropped her necklace. Blaze thought if he gives it back, she might help him find cat food. She looks like a nice person. I am suing you for physical assault. You owe me $10,000. But Blaze likes her, and he's only ever liked himself, so he's going to call her Blaze. Blaze and Girl Blaze celebrated the fair by finding a robot. What you need to know about these two is they love violence. You can see by the fact that Blaze brought a sword to the fair, and Blaze brought a crossbow. They knew something bad was going to happen. They are the something bad! Before getting cat food, they celebrated by drinking, faster than anyone's drunk before. Blaze is only 17 years old, but this is the Middle Ages. Being sober is considered a mental illness. Blaze's childhood friend, who he's forgotten the name of, Blake has invented a teleporter. Then Blake's dad started hitting it with a hammer. It sparked out and sucked Blaze into a wormer. He landed in a field and was attacked by goblins, which is why you should always bring a sword to the fair. Blaze is a big believer in concealed carrying. Blaze left the field and found himself in the same place, but it was different. There was someone else in his house, and the guard said, we are at war with the Fiend Lord army. So a logical person would know that the wormhole took Blaze 400 years into the past. But Blaze thinks he started the war with his sword politics. He goes to church to repent for his sins. Sisters, what can I do to atone? Oh, how delicious! I mean, delightful looking you are! I'm starting to question my faith. We're gonna fucking kill you! I am going to the castle to tell the king that God is dead and I want cat food. The forest in front of the castle has a bunch of enemies. This is smart because the peasants can't get to the castle to complain about taxes. Blaze also learned to spin attack. This will be important later. Blaze made it to the castle and told them what was going on. You wanna ask the king for cat food? Yes. And ten thousand dollars. Oh no, there she is, don't let her see me! Turns out Girl Blaze is the queen. If the queen sues you instead of beheading you, that's a pretty good deal. Blaze, as you know, we've been sent 400 years into the past. What? No way. Turns out in modern day, she's actually the princess and she looks like her ancestor queen from 400 years ago. So they think she's her. But the real queen has been kidnapped and is about to be killed. So Girl Blaze is being erased from existence. Then Blake finds him. Blaze, I traveled 400 years into the past to find you. What? No way! Blake tells Blaze to get back to home, we need Girl Blaze as well. Blaze ignores her and spooks an old man, then tries to join the army. What's your greatest strength? I can drink 57 beers in 3 minutes. What's your greatest weakness? I can only remember one name. Nice to meet you, Blaze. They said if he can rescue the queen, he can join the army. So he went to threaten God into giving him information. But the nuns turned out to be snake women. I was joking about concealed carrying, but uh, Blake actually brought a gun to the fair. They thought they won, but another appeared had wounded Blake, they were out of time. They can't win, unless some hero comes out of the shadows and saves them. Hiya! You're a disease, and I am the cure. You are a frog! I am Sir Paladorum the Fourth, Knight of the Queen and Protector of the Realm. I'm gonna call you Frog! Also a piano aficionado. <laughs> The frog is also here to save the queen and knows she's in the cathedral. So they went in, killed enemies and looted chests. Hey, they have my favorite book here, Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the War. They made it to the boss room. And the old man is here? Did Blaze turn him evil by scaring him? Or was he always evil? We will never know. I take that back, we can answer it. And then Blaze and Frog learn to work together and kill the boss. Since Blaze killed the old head of the church, he thinks he is now head of the church. As new ruler, I'm introducing a law. Wheelchairs are replaced by motorbikes. They rescued the queen and Girl Blaze came back to life, incredibly happy to see Blaze. I was just dead for 30 minutes. You now owe me $11,000. They're ready to go home, but Frog is looking emotional. I failed to protect my queen. I needed help from others. My mentor would be disappointed. I must get stronger. Sadly, the army only accepts people older than 15, and Blaze is technically negative 383. So they went back to the portal. Blake made a portal key to science it open, and they went back to their time. Finally, Blaze can buy cat food. But before he could, Girl Blaze drags him to the castle to answer for his crimes. And inside was the old man, the present version. Do we need to kill this guy? No, he just owes me money. Cut off his fucking head! What? This is not a big deal. Fine, we will have a fair trial. Blaze, you are charged with looking like Goku. Goku always brings aliens to Earth that want to destroy the planet. Are you gonna do that? N no. There is one way we will forgive you. You just have to say the princess's name. 
So Blaze went to prison, at least there's no debt in death. The rest of the game you play as the frog. Oh, unless Blaze makes annoying sounds and then the guards come in and he just runs past them. Speed run! Do you think this game has full damage? Can I just jump off the bridge here? I think I see a small lake. Blaze ran into another room with someone about to be killed. Should he save them? I really don't have much time. My cat is getting hungry. Oh, fine, I'll be a good person. Thank you. By the way, why are you in prison? I run an underground fight club between the homeless. Shit. Blaze climbed outside the castle to get to the final archway. You know, he may have been innocent going to prison, but he's now murdered so many guards to get out. Blake was also in prison just for being friends with Blaze. But that's unfair because Blaze doesn't understand friendship. Now there's a robot dragon trying to kill them. To prove I'm innocent, I'm gonna stab your dragon with my blood-covered sword, steal Blaze's time portal key so I can time travel, then warp away abducting the princess. See ya, bitches! Okay, first thing, the bad news. We are in hell, but the good news, I stole $7,000 from the guards' corpses and I can nearly pay you back. Honestly, good to just get out of the house and some fresh air. Inside a dome, they found someone who said, Help, we haven't eaten in so long. We are so hungry. Yeah, well, so is my cat, so shut the fuck. We should help them. Apparently, there is food guarded by a robot down this hole. Blaze thinks if there's human food, there's probably cat food too, so agrees. They are running through, and then they all die instantly. For the rest of the game, you play as the frog. Oh, no, they got back up. They beat the boss and went into the food room. But Blake says it's all rotten. Blaze is deeply hurt. His cat still has no food. It's also 13,000 years into the future, but he doesn't know that. This dead guy was holding a seed, though, so maybe in three years they'll grow some corn. In the main control room, Blake locates the portal to their home time, to the east. And there's a big red button that says, do not touch. So Girl Blaze bashes it with her head. It says 1999 AD, visual record of the day of Lavos. It shows a sleek futuristic city. Then hell opens up, a demon climbs out and rains hellfire across the world. Their original time is a thousand. Frog time is 600. We are now in 2300. The apocalypse happened in 1999. Got all that? Good, cause it gets more confusing. Blaze decides the best idea is to go back in time to when Lavos was a baby and kill him then. So we still need to get to the east to the time portal. To get to the east, they got to hotwire this car. But a motorbiker stops us. His name is Bro. A cool name for cool people. Damn it, I was so close. He's in a motorbike wheelchair. Bro will let us take the car if we race him and win. Oh, this is way cooler than I expected. I'm almost to the finish line. I'm getting in front. No! So I tried again and lost again. Blaze asked this robot if he has any tips for him. You must follow your heart. What is your truest desire. Feeding my cat? Other than that. <laughs> oh yeah, violence. Blaze rammed his bike until his tire blew and then overtook him. They made their way through and entered the protodome, ready to go home. Inside was a robot on the ground, destroyed a long time ago, but Blake tried fixing it. Oh, it's attacking! Wait, no, it's dancing! <laughs> Thank you for fixing me. I am an advanced AI capable of human emotions, here to be your ally in saving the world and friend. Blaze didn't listen to all that. He thought it was a robot servant, like a dog. I'ma call you Rex. Rex says to open the door to the portal, three of us need to go to the power station and one has to stay here. Just keep Rex safe, I really care about him. The bad news is that they were instantly captured and thrown into a conveyor belt into certain death. The good news is you can now see the best attack move in the game. The robot's laser beams and blazer spinning combined to send lasers all over the map, hitting all enemies. The combat was just this for 20 minutes, and for most of the game, I love it. Blaze activated the power, and then the building tried to kill them. Rex put his body on the line to protect them. Why was I programmed to feel pain? Please hurry. They got away and found some more robots. Rex got excited and gave the robots his traditional greeting, a bow. And they gave him their traditional greeting, a punch in the face. You are defective. No, I'm doing my job. Your job is to exterminate humans. What? No way. We will have to exterminate you. Get the fuck away from him! Ugh. Blaze felt an inner fury. Was it because Blake cared about Rex and Blake could take him home? Or was it because he genuinely cared for the robot? Blaze wasn't sure himself. He just knew he felt a burning desire to save Rex. Do not harm them, please. These robots are my brothers. Blaze couldn't allow himself to give up. They threw Rex away. Even with his robo friend gone, Blaze still span. He span for the both of them. Blaze and Blaze's traditional greeting was to kill robots. And they will continue that here. Eventually Eventually, Girl Blaze got him out of the chute, but he's badly damaged. They dragged him back, and Blake desperately tried to fix him. He was in terrible shape. Blaze hoped he was alright. He realized this is the first time he's cared about someone other than himself. Wait, what's that sound? 
you have my eternal gratitude, friends. I will help you fight Lavos. Let me keep the time portal key safe. So Rex opened the portal and they can finally go home to feed Blaze's cat and then take on Lavos. I'm 90% sure this isn't my home. They found an old man here. You might wonder where you are. You're at the end of time. The old man explains after three time travels, you unlock this place, which is a hub world for time travel. By the way, if you want to fight Lavos, you'll need to be hydrated. Go have a drink from that bucket. Blaze doesn't listen to old people, so he ignored him. They could go to 65 million BC and ride dinosaurs like cool people, but Lavos probably wasn't born yet, so they go back to their time to do research. But instead of home, they end up in a goblin's cupboard. They end up in the right time, but in the wrong village, filled with fiends. The fiends are worshipping this statue, the fiend lord, Magus. Blaze realizes he was the one who started the war 400 years ago, which distracted him from getting cat food. It's all his fault! Magus was also the one who summoned Lavos, but that seemed less important to Blaze. And even though Blaze has learned friendship, he's still violent. So he stabbed a shopkeeper to get cheaper prices, and oh my god, it did not work. Then he went to an old man's home just to insult him. You are old! And have a questionable stove. He went into a cave and inside found the boy he saved from the guillotine. Hey man, why are you in a cave away from where people can see- Oh, oh I know why. They returned to the end of time, no closer to beating Lavos. You are old! Great, I think you're just really dehydrated. Dude, fine, I'll go drink from the bucket. Oh, wait, this is a time portal to 1999 AD, the day of Lavos. Maybe I shouldn't insult old people. This is it, the day of Armageddon. It is our job to defeat Lavos, to save the world, and my cat. Blaze realized there's nothing wrong with his need for violence. He can channel it for good, to battle evil. Lavos summoned minions. Blaze striked back. But then Lava set Blaze on fire. He was knocked unconscious. But Girl Blaze healed him with her magic. Blaze struck Lavos with lightning, but it only enraged it. They were still confident, but then death. 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 They never stood a chance. All dead, Lavos ended the world. Blaze's cat will never be fed, and no one can stop it. Wait, I said they were all dead, but only Blaze, Blaze, and Blake are dead. Where's Rex? He said he would keep the portal key safe. He knew these three weren't strong enough to fight Lavos, so he stayed back so he can rewind time of the last second to save them all. I'm never doing that again, so don't do anything stupid. I realize I'm not the strongest. I can't beat Lavos alone, unless it's in a drinking competition. Old man who I now respect. Where can I get help? Back in 600 AD, there was once a legendary hero, but he died of malnutrition. Maybe you can save him. So they returned to 600 AD to find the hero. That was the time with the other queen and the frog in the Aegist army, remember? A resident says the legendary hero will be holding the hero's badge. He went to the castle to ask about the hero, but the king is wounded. Blaze, I'm sick of my wife's bullshit. You thought this 16 year old girl was your wife. I know you knew. Who's the last time you- and by by the way, your left pinky toe is too small. And another thing. I'm making a law that cat food can only be bought at fairs. Guys, still here. Where is the hero? Apparently on the southern continent. And here are the guards that rejected Blaze. They say they're out of food. Huh. Reminds me of someone. Anyway, there is an obvious solution here. Cannibalism. Their backs are even turned. Blaze stole food from the castle and gave it to the knights. Now I can see the great army in battle. They both died in one hit from a skeleton. From downtown! Rex comes in with his people's traditional greeting. And they died in one hit. I think Blaze and the gang could take take over the entire kingdom, but he's bad at making laws. This guy is Magus' second in command, but his name is Ozzy, so I legally can't say anything negative about him or I'll go to prison in real life for high treason. He summoned a moonwalking skeleton. Blaze stamped. Blaze spun around like a- Then the boss used death, death, death. This time Rex is in the fight. He can't save them. Wait, he couldn't handle the recoil and his head exploded. From downtown! Rex runs in for the final punch and kills him. And we're on the southern continent. Everyone here has seen the hero with the badge, but no one knows where he is, so I searched. In the cursed woods, I found a secret passage behind this bush. Who is there? Oh no, the cops have found us! Wait, I'm stronger than the army. What are police gonna do? Wait, it's Frog. Frog's the best. Hello again. Come to laugh at my failure to protect the queen. Ah, oh, man, we're here to support you. Oh, thanks. Also, we need your help to fight Lavos to stop the world being destroyed in 1400 years so time travel with us to the end of time so we can jump in a bucket and finally feed my cat. 
What? Just come with us. We can find the hero together. I cannot. I am useless. I am no hero. There's naught I can do to help. I'm going on hunger strike until I find a way to beat Magus. Blaze feels bad for him, but he has a job to do. So he goes drinking at the bar, and the other people here tell him where to find Magus' castle. Proving alcohol solves all your problems. I was told it was here. This is a solid stone wall. Oh, I was lied to. Alcohol has caused all my problems. Blaze was also told there was a magical sword on top of this mountain that can defeat Magus, and the hero is trying to get it. Oh, is that the hero? Hey kid, eat your vegetables. Don't die of malnutrition. You ain't my dad. You wanna bet? I can time travel. I will become your dad. And then he runs away. Blaze needs to work on interacting with children. There were hundreds of monsters on the mountain, and they dealt with it the same way as always. At the top was a hidden cave. Inside was a child who was dancing like a- <laughs> Blaze tried his hardest to be nice to children. Oi fuckers! Can you please tell us if the hero was here? Oh, that kid was scared of us and ran away. Why would a hero be afraid of you? Oh god, why are they spinning? This is why I don't like children. So Blaze murdered the children and behind them was a magical sword. The drunk people were right. Alcohol solves all problems. But the sword is damaged. Before repairing it, Blaze went to visit the hero who ran away. You are a failure. Now I'm gonna have to go back in time, replace your dad, and raise you right. I have things to do, you know. I have a cat to feed, but I'm gonna go back in time to fu- I'm not the hero. I was lying. I stole the hero badge off some ugly guy. Consider yourself lucky, sir. Very lucky. Hey, Frog, we have the sword that can kill mages. You only have half the sword, and I'm not worthy of wielding it anyway. I'm too depressed to help you, and I'm getting hungry. Blaze took this opportunity to go through Frog's belongings. He may understand friendship now, but he still doesn't understand personal boundaries. And he found that Frog had the other half of the sword the whole time. But seeing it in two just makes Frog sadder. Rex sees that it has an inscription, Melchior. That's the name of the old Nazi man. Sir, why is your name on this sword? and what horrors has it been used for? Blaze, Nazis haven't been invented yet, and this is just a stove. I could fix the sword for you, but I'd need a glowing red rock, and they haven't existed in millions of years. Like, you could travel back and- No, no, I'm, I can't help. They don't trust him, but they have no other leads. So they are finally ready to go back to 65 million BC and get a red rock to fix the sword to cure Frog's depression to have enough people to kill mages to stop summoning Lavos to save the world and feed Blaze's cat. Are we all clear on the plan? Good, because we're getting attacked by ancient dinosaurs. Blaze was happy he could use violence, but there were just too many of them. Wait, someone is here to save them. Who else could be here? God damn, that's a nice bat you've got. Kill them! Make them regret ever evolving out of water! Tell them about the meteorite that will crash into the planet and make them go extinct so they go into an existential crisis. Bite their face off! Blaze is impressed. After saving us, she gives Blaze her people's traditional greeting. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show this on YouTube. Time to give her a name. Blaze likes her, so he's calling her Blaze. But he really likes her, so he's calling her Blaze. So now Blaze, 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 Blake, and Rex go to Blaze's village, and they're having a party. Then there was a drinking minigame. Blaze was born for this. Mash A many time. I play clicking games for a living, motherfucker. You will not defeat me. After Blaze won, Ancient Blaze gave Blaze the red rock he needed to mend the sword. Melchior was telling the truth. Now they can go back and, oh, oh no, too much drink. Blaze woke up with a headache and the red rock stolen. So he broke into Ancient Blaze's house and woke her up because Blaze has no sense of personal boundaries. She says, reptile steel rock, we must get back, make plan. In this time period, there's a whole race war between humans and reptiles, Ancient Blaze has a romantic backstory, and more reasons Blaze is Goku. But there's already enough storylines here, so I'm skipping all over that to say they beat the boss, got the red rock, and Ancient Blaze has to stay behind to lead her tribe. So they went back to Melchior. How did you get this? It was only in the distant past. I have no clue how someone could have got this. I believe him. He fixes the sword and gives it to Rex. Hey frog, it's okay, we've come to help you. Then they threw a sword at him. You, you fixed the sword. I remember a long time ago. Frog dreams of a vision from the past. I remember the leader of the knights used to have that sword. My mentor and friend, Cyrus. Ten years ago, he faced against Ozzy and Magus himself. He died in front of my eyes. Magus cast a spell on me. I fell down the falls and woke up in this frog body. But Cyrus's badge of the hero found its way to me. I hoped one day I would be worthy of wearing it. Am I ready? I don't know. Here, this is where Magus hides now. Cyrus, your dream did not die with you. I now wield your sword. It is my duty, my honor, to avenge you.
I will fight and destroy Magus. I will not rest. I will not yield. I will fulfill our destiny. <laughs> Age of Vegetables. So they entered the cave and you'd think the enemies would have been intimidated by Frog's speech, but they still try to fight them. So they did the old spin technique. Gotta keep Frog's sword sharp for Magus. But he can still use his face. GO FROG LAUNCHER! Out of the cave they found Magus' castle. He's in charge of the fiend army. He summons Lavos. He killed Cyrus and turned Frog into a frog. He stopped Blaze getting cat food. He must die. Inside they have to choose right or left, and Blaze uses his sophisticated decision making skills. Eeny meeny. Money mo. Through the right door, there seems to be the king. Daughter, go home, it's dangerous. But she doesn't listen to old people. Then Blaze's mum shows up. Mum, why are you here? Why aren't you at home feeding the cat? And then she turns into fiends. So they gave their party's traditional greeting. Then there was a boss fight. Blaze and Frog work together. They use the same attack literally a hundred times. I never said they were creative fighters. They found Ozzy in the high tower. Where is Magus? And he ran away, hiding behind an obstacle course. I have done thousands of hours of Minecraft parkour. You dare challenge me with this trivial design? And he runs away again moonwalking. Blaze climbed the tower and went to kill him for good. What, a trapdoor? What is this game, Scooby-Doo? After climbing the entire tower three more times and falling, Blaze has mapped out the exact path to safety to get to Ozzy. No, I will cut off your tail and wear it as a hat. I am back and you will die now, Ozzy. But it's too late. Lord Major should have finished summoning a lava spider. God damn it. Have a taste of your own medicine. Yeah. How does it feel? They found a stairway to the basement and heard a strange chanting. Frog walked in first. He recognized the voice. The air was thick. He could feel the power from deep below him. As the area lit up, he saw Magus in front of him. His blood ran hot, which is unusual for a frog. He looked at Magus. Cyrus, I will avenge you. The battle started with Blaze and Frog using their X attack. Magus had powerful spells that hit all of them. Durblaze healed and Frog struck him with the magic sword. Magus used his most powerful dark magic. He had taken some sort of outer space power from Lavos. They knocked Blaze unconscious and nearly killed Frog. On his last breath, he tried desperately for one last attack. It was enough to wound Magus, but the world started shaking. Magus was just trying to get energy from Lavos, but we interrupted him and now Lavos is awakening. 1400 years early, everything went black. Blaze woke up in his house with girl Blaze and... and his cat! His cat! He's finally reunited! His food bowl is still empty, motherfucker! That was just a dream. They are actually back in 65 million BC with Ancient Blaze. But where did Magus go? It's a mystery. But before solving the mystery, they climbed up a mountain, jumped on some pterodactyls and flew around the sky. They went north forever and discovered the earth is actually round. What a discovery! They flew to the top of the reptile castle and made another huge scientific discovery. It wasn't an asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. It was Blaze! No, I can't lose to a Saiyan monkey. No, we don't have time for this. <laughs> Please stop it. Wait, why is the sky flashing red? What's that? From Lavos is hurtling through space. It wasn't Blaze that killed the dinosaurs, it was Lavos crash landing into the planet. I guess this rules out the plan for killing Lavos before he was born. It was good knowing you all, but this is where we all die, at negative 64,999,983 years old. Unless ancient Blaze's romantic love that I never explained comes to save us. They rode off to avoid the impact of Lavos crashing, and he left a giant crater. Maybe with Frog and the sword they can actually beat Lavos this time, but he's already burrowed underground, and he seems to have left a time gate behind. Strange. They went through the portal and ended up in the Ice Age. Luckily, there was a portal that beamed them into a sky island. Alright, we need to get back on track. There is a mystery afoot. Where did Magus go? Inside the first building, they asked around and found that they are in the magical city of Zeal in 12,000 BC. It seems like a happy place. And they found a kid with a- Is that a cat? Blaze is just happy to see any cat at this point. Then the boy walked past them silently and said, One among you will shortly perish. That kid has to work on interacting with blazes. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I don't know the details, but I heard he has power most uncanny. Oh god, is that kid the prophet? 
Blaze made it to the capital. Blaze needs more clues to solve this. Apparently this city used to use the sun for their power, but they've recently got a new energy source. The source of our energy rests deep below the sea. That's cool, are they using like volcanoes or something? Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. Uh, sure. But at times, people's dreams and prayers call upon the power of Lavos and are made reality. Wait, no, no, don't do that. Why are you talking about Lavos? I have to find out more to stop this. Were you aware that Balthazar, the guru of reason, maintained secret chambers in Enhasa and Kajar? Yes. I, I knew that. I knew what all those words meant. Don't worry about it. Then Blaze walked in on the mystic boy talking to his sister. I saw a frog today. I felt like he wanted to kill me. Don't be rude. Anyway, I have to go summon Lavos. See you later. Hey, how about that thing you said? You weren't serious, right? Go away. Blaze went to tell the queen to not summon Lavos and ask where Magus is, but he finds another room where there's a machine that's siphoning energy from Lavos. Guys, I can't emphasize enough how bad an idea this is. But everyone here thinks Lavos is great. They broke into the throne room to stop them. Prophet says these are bringers of disaster. Wait, Prophet? This guy's the Prophet? So the kid wasn't. Blaze is safe. They're all safe. Kill them all. Damn it. They put Blaze in prison instead of killing him but Lavos is gonna strike at any moment, dooming them all. But wait, the little boy came to rescue them. I know the future, and so I know Lavos is gonna destroy the world. You have to stop him. You know about the guru, right? The wise old man? Yes, obviously I know about the guru. Don't worry about it. He knows Lavos' weakness. Go save him. Okay. Guys, who is the guru? Where is the guru? What is the guru? Is guru a real word? I'm still new to learning names. They searched the past on pterodactyls and couldn't find him. They searched the future and no one's heard. Then I found a hidden basement. Inside was a- is that a time machine? Blaze hopped in and hit random controls until it fired up and they sped out into space time. With this mystery machine they can solve who the prophet is and how to kill Lavos. After searching all of time they found that the guru is imprisoned on this floating mountain. That must be the guru sealed inside the crystal. But they have to beat a boss protecting him. Go Blaze, use lightning! No, not on your own teammate! Oh, it actually worked. They killed it and freed the guru. Who is? Melchor? What are you doing here? Ha, huh, guess what? What? I knew about time travel the whole time! What? No way! I have found Lavos's one and only weakness. He is a being of hate, anger, and violence. Only his perfect opposite can neutralize him. A person of pure soul must sacrifice themselves. Okay, looking at you lot, I see none of you have that. Luckily, I made a backup plan. This sword that can chop off his fucking head. We must fight. Blaze is gonna kill Lavos to save the universe. So Blaze teleported down into the ocean temple to fight Lavos. Fought through hundreds of enemies, endlessly running. And just before the final door, he thought to himself, why am I here? To stop something happening a thousand years after my life? What about the people I care about now? Then he remembered, I have a time machine. I can do whatever I want. Blaze can go home and feed his cat. So that's what he's gonna do. Back in his own time, finally, he went home for the first time in months for him, but only a few hours for his mother. He walked inside, checked his mum was not a fiend, pet his cat, and checked. Grams of cat food, zero. It's gonna be all right, buddy. The fair is still open. I'm gonna get you some dinner. No, the cat food merchant isn't here. He must have sold out. This can't be how it all ends. Blaze went on a drinking spree. Like, really, really went off the rails. At least each time it was in a drinking competition, and Blaze won, giving him five silver points each time. He can spend them at carnival games, like the Tent of Horrors. May as well scare myself to death at this point. For 80 points, they take girl Blaze and put her over a fire. If Blaze doesn't kick the beanbags into the monsters fast enough, she burns to death. More carnival games should be this extreme, but Blaze is a violent drunk, so he wins the game. Well done! Take this cat! What? What? What do you mean? What? No, I, I wanted food! Now I have two cats! I have two cats and no food! This does not solve my problems! Blaze went back to beating every drinking record ever set. Then he had enough points to do the game again, and this time demanded cat food, not a cat. He was so focused, never had he tried so hard at a task. He managed to win and save Blaze. You've just won yourself some cat food! Brands of cat food, 20! This is all I've ever dreamed of.
I have fulfilled my true purpose. And for the first time, Blaze felt his violent urges cease. He was at peace. Oh wait, Lavos is still gonna destroy the world. With his life task complete, Blaze was now ready to fight Lavos for the final time. He went back to the Ocean Temple and he threw the magical sword into the machine. Blaze, no, that was meant for Lavos, not the machine summoning Lavos. Lavos was angry and arrived to fight them. Lavos, he one shot everyone. They're all barely conscious. Lavos was preparing to finish them off and lay waste to the world. But someone stood in front. The Prophet? Why? It's actually Magus! I swore on that day long ago I'd destroy you. It's time to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. Magus is also trying to kill Lavos? He's gonna save us? Nope, he's also dying in one hit. With everyone down, it was over. Except Blaze managed to stand up, barely. Magus, I thought you were trying to summon Lavos. Lavos killed my sister 12,000 years ago. Everything I did was to stop that, but she's here again. The princess is Magus' sister. Meaning that boy is Magus in the past. Lavos truly was everyone's enemy, pure evil. With his friends down, Blaze had to make a decision. His cat was fed. He didn't feel the need to fight. He calmly walked towards Lavos. He stood strong, knowing he couldn't win. Magus looked on, knowing what was about to happen. Lavos fired. One among you will shortly perish. Lavos expected resistance, but he found acceptance, he found calmness, he found a pure soul sacrificing itself. Both Lavos and Blaze were obliterated. Blaze had saved the world, his friends, his cat, but could not save himself. Thank you to my patrons, you have all my gratitude in all dimensions, at all times, in all universes, in all realities.